Hey guys, what's up? And I'm showing you how to do the 3G jailbreak. It's kind of late, but you know, I'm just doing it right now. So I was like, hey, why not make a video? So, yeah, this is exactly what I'm doing. It's actually downloading right now 88%, 89%, whatever. And just here's a dev team's blog and all that. So we'll wait for that to download in 20 seconds. And. Alright, so that's done. So we open up the DMG. So it's opening up the DMG. And we'll just drag that to my applications folder. Take that off. Go to applications. And we'll go to ponage tool. Let's disconnect my iPhone. Quit iTunes. We'll do this. Check for updates on Startup. Yeah. Allow. Allow. That allowing was just my little snitch. If you have little snitch, you're going to want to allow that. What we'll do is we'll go into simple mode. Make sure that that's on simple mode. Go to iPhone 3G. If you have the iPhone. I do. So there's a 3.0. Click to continue. Yes. Yep. I do have AT&T and I'm just show breaking it. So we'll just wait till it builds the IPSW. Make sure you uh, download all the the ponage tool from the dev teams dev teams blog because there's a lot of fakes out there there's a lot of fakes out there so like you could go to ponish tool 3.0 info and just go down and take one of these that's the only one that uh, the dev team actually supports these are unofficial mirrors right now I used this one I'll put the link in the description and all that alright so yeah all right, so it's almost done. It's zipping the IPSW. If you have any questions, I probably will be able to answer them, most likely. Uh, just put them in the comments below, you know. Please subscribe. Rate the video so it'll be able to, more people will be able to see the video. Does it have a no? All right, so... I'll be right back. Just gonna switch to camera mode so you can see this. Hey guys, I just wanted to switch to this so you have the little uh, video thing in the bottom right corner just so you can see what I'm doing on the iPhone. I'm gonna turn down the brightness real quick so you'll be able to see the what I'm doing. Alright, so here's my iPhone. We go to Ponage Tool. And it says turn off device. So we hold down the little top button, slide the power off. Obviously, you should know that. If you don't, I don't know, so you're weird. Alright. Prepare to press and hold the power and home button. So I'm pressing and hold. Hold the power and home button for 10 seconds. And make sure your iPhone's plugged in while you're doing this. Release power button. Hold, keep holding home button. Okay. Successfully enter DFU mode. Close Ponish Tool application. Start iTunes and restore with your custom firmware bundle. And that should be on your desktop if you saved it on your desktop right there. Alright, so we go to here. And I'll just unplug my iPhone and plug it back in. So it's in DFU mode. So it'll say that. That's normal. Don't panic or whatever. And what you got to do here is go to option. Click option. And restore. And then you got to 
you can choose your desktop make sure you're on desktop and go to your custom restore and click open Extracting the software. Alright, so hey guys, my iPhone has just finished restoring, and as you can see, it says iPhone is activated. What you want to do just to be safe is set up as new iPhone. If you're one of the people that, like me, that needs to, uh, like, that will lose contacts and text messages and emails and all that, you can still click set up as new iPhone. Just click continue. I'm actually going to uncheck all these because uh, just so I can make this faster. So we're going to click done and I'm going to cancel the sync. So I canceled the sync. Yeah, it's in Spanish. If any of you guys have this problem, just tell me in the comments. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the languages tab, wherever that is. So that should be in general. You go to international, then idioma, idioma. Some Spanish people are probably going to be like, you're saying it wrong. And then just change it to English, click OK. It says setting language. And it does a little dial thing, the cog wheel, whatever you call it. I don't know what it is. And it changed back to English. All right, so there's Cydia and installer. I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn down the brightness real quick. Sorry about this. So turn down the brightness. And there's Cydia and installer. If you want to unlock it, you use Ultra Snow. You go down into IC or Cydia, but I'm going to use IC because I've it just looks cool. I don't know. And you just add that s source and just download Ultra Snow. And that last O is actually a zero. Just just to make sure. In all the Ultra Snow words. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna sync my phone. Uh, please subscribe. Rate the com or not rate the comments. What does that mean? But just uh, rate and comment. If you have any questions, leave the comments below. If you have that language issue I did, leave it in the comments below. Just maybe I'll tell the dev team or something like that. I'll or post a comment on their website. I don't know. Do whatever. Please rate and subscribe so more people can see these videos and stuff. So, yeah. See you. Sorry about that, I had to add one more thing. If you were the person that uh, is going to lose contacts and stuff because you clicked set up a new iPhone, that's alright. You can still do this. Just to be safe, I did it this way. Uh, what you do is, after you set up a new iPhone, and you don't have to sync anything or whatever just yet. You can cancel the syncs and all that. Just go over to where it says devices, then your name. Uh, iPhone whatever you named your iPhone and click control and then click that and what you do is restore from backup once again that's control restore from backup and I'm just gonna choose mine 535 p.m. yeah So, yeah, so there you go. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.